In this video, I am going to show you how to make animated map from one location to another, like this. You often see this type of animation using After Effects and Premiere Pro, but now I am going to show you using HitFilm Express. So let's check it out. So first of all, we have to adjust our map image in a proper dimension and that is 1920 by 1080p. That's why I am using GIMP to adjust. Select your canvas by 1920 by 1080p because this is going to be our video dimension. Now you drag your map image in a software in GIMP and adjust the position. Make a separate layer called path because we are going to draw a path from India to New York. Select a particular line style. Here I am using the dotted lines. Now here both path and map both are two in different layers so you can export both these two images separately and I am doing the same. So this is our plain map so without what patch. And this is our only the patch image. So now we have two different images. One is the map and another is the patch. Now we drag both the images in HitFilm Express. Make a new composite shot. Select a particular duration, say 5 seconds. I think 5 seconds would be sufficient for this animation. And drag the map image along with the patch image because both are two in different layers now. Now I am going to draw a mask in the path layer to make an animation. Use the keyframes. So you can see the animation. So overall our animation is done, our first part is done. Now since we have two different locations, so I am going to use captions for these two countries. Now I am going to make a new composite shot. In this composite shot I am going to use a background. And the background is something like an... So this is an wooden background. And I am going to place the map over the background. Just adjust the scale so that it looks like the map is on the background. You can see here, although I have reduced the scale, but still the, there is no impact on the animation because the animation part we have already done in our other composite shot. That is the beauty of making separate composite shots. So here I am using the drop shadow effect so that it looks more realistic. use some rotation effect so our overall animation is done but this is in two dimension but we have to make it in 3d like the effect of panning zooming and etc that means the camera should pan from india to new york so here i'm selecting a new composite shot final and in this composite shot our entire video is going to be completed and drag the background composite here
and make it 3D. Now you have to play everything with the camera here. Camera has several parameters like orientation, rotation, position. So you have to play all this to have an effect of panning, zooming, etc. Now I activate all the keyframes to get an effect of panning and see and there is a nice panning effect. So that's it for today. If you really enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video.